collection and today I want to share with you a art class haul actually. Um, I will be doing some scrapbooking with it but I'm going to be doing a lot of other fun things uh, from this class. This is art class one from Wilna at Two Peas in a Bucket that I'll be taking. I'll leave a link down below in the video if you're interested in checking it out. So I already have certainly a lot of art supplies but after um, looking through the supply list and um, watching some of the class class videos, um, I went ahead and ordered several things as well as um, visited my local Hobby Lobby so that I could learn more. So you'll see this mat right here. This is my craft mat that I generally use, um, but because I'm going to be working with a lot more um, paints than I usually do and also gesso and gel mediums and things like that. I went ahead and ordered the um, the Ranger ink uh, craft mat. I got this from Amazon and it's it's pretty big. So um, and I've seen this on a couple other people's videos using gelatos and you can literally um, smear your gelatos right onto this and it will actually wipe right off. Same thing with watercolors. You can literally blend your watercolors on this uh, craft mat here and it will clean up with just a paper towel. So, um, went ahead and ordered that. Then, also from Amazon, I ordered the uh, multi-medium um, gloss and um, I'm going to be trying some image transfers with that. I haven't done image transfers in a long time, so... Um, I haven't done image transfers in a long time, so that'll be fun. And then I also ordered some gesso, which we'll be using a lot in the class. And then I did order some Mod Podge, and I have never actually bought Mod Podge. I always make my own. So, but in this class, um, I think I'm going to be using it a lot more, so I went ahead and just bought some so I'd have easy access to it, and I wouldn't have to mix up my own. And then, also from Hobby Lobby, I brought home some more um, ultra-thick embossing enamel. You can never have enough of this stuff. The next thing that I picked up was this paint. This is from Martha Stewart. I got this at Joanne Fabrics. It's a multi-surface high gloss acrylic paint and it is in my favorite color. This is beach glass is what uh, Martha Stewart calls this color. And I will be mixing this with um, gesso. So that's going to be fun. And then I have seen Wilna use a the Tiny Attacher from uh, Tim Holtz. For a long time and I always was like what's the big deal about the tiny attacher I've seen other people use it too I mean I have a stapler I use a stapler in my projects but then I went ahead and just really looked at it um, searched for it at Hobby Lobby and found it and look how tiny these staples are so tiny but so handy for the fact that they are so tiny so I'm excited I actually used a 40% off coupon on this um, that I had on my iPhone, so I got that for a great price. And then, I, of course, I picked up some extra um, mini, 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 mini staplers to go with it. And then from Amazon, I had ordered an, a mini glue gun, a low heat mini glue gun. I've had a glue gun for years. I think I'm on my second or third glue gun, actually. Um, but it is fairly large and it's a high heat and uh, Wilna pretty much exclusively uses hot glue for her adhesive and I never really done that um, I've mostly used it for uh, fabric or moss that sort of thing so um, I wanted to try a mini glue gun with low heat and maybe that will work better for me and here we go. The glue sticks came in. Are you excited? Uh, but the mini glue gun has not. In fact, I should email someone on that. It's been a while since I've ordered it. The other thing that um, we're going to be using in the class a lot with our gesso, our craft sticks, 
and I went ahead and opened these and um, used them on a project already. I used one, and I was surprised to find I got these craft sticks from Joanne Fabrics, but they seem to be about the same everywhere. But I was surprised to find how flimsy they are. They're pretty weak, and it seems like um, when I was a kid, the craft sticks were a lot uh, sturdier. So I'm wondering, probably they're made out of bamboo, which is better for our environment, I'm guessing. But anyway, so I've got plenty of those. And then I also, um, sometimes I apply Mod Podge with foam brushes. So I got these from Amazon, a whole 25 pack of foam brushes, because I generally just use them and throw them away. I know, that's totally wasteful, right? But if you're working with glue, then it doesn't really last long with your brush, so just ordered a whole bunch of those. And then I also, when I was at um, Hobby Lobby, they had their brushes of 30, yeah, 30% 30 off. And I have um, brushes, I can actually see them from here, but um, I don't have a whole lot of tiny ones. I have a few, and I've had them for years, and since I'm going to be doing some watercolors inside of stencils and rub-ons and things like that in the class, I decided that for as little price as this was, I'd go ahead and pick up just a few um, so that I can make sure I had a good brush to use. And then here's some really fun stuff. Okay. One of the things that we'll be using in the class are gelatos. I've never worked with gelatos. I'm super, super excited. So from Amazon, I ordered this um, mix and match gelatos mist maker. Actually, this one may have came from two peas. I'm not sure. They have some of this stuff, but it was out of stock, so I had to order some of it from Amazon. But this one includes your palette knife, uh, two misting bottles, a drip dropper and a metallic color so that's going to be really fun I'm guessing this metallic color I can probably mix with the other colors so I will find out and then I got since I'm just starting with gelatos I got the entire um, set and let's go ahead and open open this up and look at it So in the set, you get um, you get a complete um, illustrated design guide. There is 24 pages in this guide, and then you get another um, spritzer, another drip drip dropper, and this right here. This is actually a little thing of gesso, so I thought that was really nice. And then you get all these colors, including another metallic color right here. Um, actually, this is a metallic uh, melon as well, and that's gold champagne. Then you get a stamp in here, and, and a stencil, a brush, and then this right here, this is a eight-page um, blank swatch journal that you can put together so you can see how gelatos work on eight different types of uh, materials. And that, and that includes black velvet, untreated canvas, I'm reading these to you. Uh, chipboard, emboss floral, hemming bone resist, wavy corrugate, corrugated cardboard, watercolor paper, and then of course um, we have our ring binder right here. So very fun. Can't wait to see what I can create with that. Anyway, so check out Wilma's art class and maybe I will see you in class. Have an inspired day. Mm -hmm.